Okay, now we are moving towards 20th century literature, which refers to our modern literature and it starts with the Edwardian era. Not exactly as I have already told you that the boundaries of literature to be and are very fluid and we can exact cannot exactly say that with the Edwardian era uh, the modern literature started because it evolves basically. It does not start abruptly, it basically evolves. If we talk about um, uh, 20th century literature, we find out that there was um, a, a huge uh, backdrop of imperialism, uh, that imperialism was being considered something very um, important in the um, British and in the England uh, side and um, the concept of white man's burden was created usually uh, it was considered that it is the um, responsibility of the whites of the um, English people to educate and to um, basically civilize the um, brutal and barbarous um, um, colonial natives uh, because they were considered to be very uneducated, very, very unethical and uncivilized and the English considered that it was their responsibility that um, they should educate them and they should civilize them. Basically it was like a veil that were the, they were using for their own personal uh, economic benefits and motives. Uh, basically they were here for their own motives, they were in the colonies, ruling the colonies for the their own economic benefits and political benefits too uh, but um, apparently they had this veil and they had this notion that they were there to educate the locals and they were to facilitate the locals and, um, and then we see that there was a, uh, a comeback of the stage plays until now we see that uh, the Victorian era was novels dominant rahe. even poetry was not much more poetry was more dominant in the romantic era in Victorian mein novel was more dominant raha. अब 20th century में आके plays जो हैं वो उनका एक comeback होता है plays जो थे वो हमारे पीछे रहने सा और उस time period में ज़्यादा जो है वो peak पर थे If we talk about modern literature and its characteristics we find out that there is a huge emphasis upon individualism because now it is considered that individual is more important than society and it should be the center of attention sorry I have written center of center it is like center of attention or center of concern uh, so the more focus is upon the individual itself rather than the society and social issues and social norms and things like that which in Victorian era was more in focus you have seen that in Victorian era was more in focus social evils and social issues and their resolutions were on them but now we have seen that the focus has shifted towards individual now individual has its issues individual has its problems its struggles are more important in modern literature then we have experimentation experimentation जो है उसमें हम ये बात करेंगे कि जो old forms थी और techniques थी जो के literature में use की जा रही थी हमें modern literature में आके उनसे एक break मिलता है and we find out that the writers have now started practicing new techniques they they have started experimenting with new stuff and because of that experimentation they have basically created a lot new forms of literature and a lot new forms of art then absurdity जो है वो एक main focus है एक main concern है where we say that this universe of ours is basically a chaotic and irrational sort of place and it shouldn't be considered to be something very orderly very organized and very rational हम जो universe का concept है हमें उसको understand करने की जरूरत है कि ये एक chaotic सी universe है irrational है illogical है sort of और हमें उसमें हर चीज को order में देखनी और हर चीज को rationally और logically understand करने की कोशिश नहीं करनी चाहिए, because that is something that is basically missing from the essence of this universe, and we need to understand this concept that the universe is absurd in its essence. Okay. So any attempts of imposing order in this universe and trying to maintain order in the setup of this universe will basically fail at the end, because order cannot be maintained for long um, in our universe. 
then we have symbolism symbolism uh, is something that was already being used in literature pehle se hi hame nazar aa raha hai symbolism was not something new koi naya idea nahi tha ye but ye hai ki symbolism ko use karne ka jo andaaz hai jo method hai usko change kar diya gaya ab ye hua ki jo symbolism hai wo is sense mein use kiya jane laga yani ek hi symbol ko different meanings ek multiple layers of meanings jo hai wo same symbols ke through depict kiye jane lage secondly un symbols ko jo hai wo bahut आपको कि वेग रखा गया एंड इट वाज लेफ्ट अप टू द इमेजिनेशन ऑफ द रीडर एंड इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ द रीडर टू फाइंड आउट द मीनिंग्स ऑफ दो सिंबलिज्म दो सिंबल्स so what we can say is uh, uh, the speciality of the modern symbolism is that it basically evokes the readers imagination and it its interpretation and it invites the readers to understand those symbols in whatever way he wants to so the reader now be, does not become uh, does not remain a passive participant he basically becomes a, a very active participant then we have formalism formalism jo hai uh, unka jo formalists hain they believe that literature is a craft aur iska jo piche hamara focus tha ke ek uh, wo jo hamara muses wala concept hai ek divine inspiration wala concept hai usko ye reject karte hain aur wo kehte hain ki literature basically a crafting hai और उसका जो स्ट्रक्चर है उसके ऊपर फोकस होगा लिटरेरी वर्क के रादर देन उसके ओरिजन और उसके कॉन्टेक्स्ट पे कि ये किसने लिखा कब लिखा कहाँ लिखा उसका कॉन्टेक्स्ट क्या था इन चीज़ों के ऊपर फोकस नहीं होगा बल्कि फोकस होगा उस वर्क के ऊपर जो उसने लिखा यानी जिसको आप कहते हो कि एक ऐसा एनालिसिस लिटरेचर का जो कि पीस ऑफ राइटिंग के ऊपर है जो कि उसके राइटर के ऊपर नहीं है उसके बैकड्रॉप के ऊपर नहीं है जो कि उस इरा के ऊपर नहीं है देन वी हैव स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस स्ट्रीम ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस जो है वो भी एक इम्पॉर्टेंट एलिमेंट है हमारे मॉडर्न लिटरेचर का और इससे हमारी मुराद ये है कि एक कंटिन्यूस फ्लो ऑफ थाट्स है विदाउट एनी सॉर्ट ऑफ लॉजिकल सीक्वेंस एंड इट डील्स विद द एवोल्यूशन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ्स यूनिवर्सल ट्रूथ्स जो हैं अब तक जो है वो उनके ऊपर काफ़ी ज़्यादा फेथ था बिलीव था उनके ऊपर फोकस था लिटरेचर में भी लेकिन अब आकर ये फोकस जो है वो हट जाता है then we have horror of war जो backdrop था हमारे पास world war वन का world war टू जो है वो basically आप ये कह लो कि modern literature के start में तो नहीं आती towards end आती है लेकिन world war वन के बाद भी जो इतनी destruction हुई जो एक economic social psychological human loss हुआ बहुत ज़्यादा उस सारी चीज़ों के जो horrors थे उनका जो end result था उसके ऊपर main focus है और उसकी जो sufferings थी उनके ऊपर main focus है कि how horror effect basically war is and how uh, much harm it basically uh, creates